In a previous video, I showed you this. I took a Radio Shack clock kit and turned it into an electronics rocket launcher. And I launched one of these, a disposable 3D printed rocket. I printed one of them on the Mod T printer and the other one on the Fabricator Mini. The Mod T requires you to be connected to the internet in order to slice. So I did the same thing here. I sliced it in AstroPrint and I'll show you how that went. Plus I ran into an issue where I needed a C size battery and all I had were double A's so I 3D printed this adapter I found on Thingiverse. I'll show you all this on today's Filament Friday. The rocket that I chose to launch is this disposable rocket by Thingiverse user Kebis22. What I like about it, it's really simple. It's just a nose and a tail section, and then you put the rocket engine between them, and that's the body of the rocket. I decided I wanted to print this on the New Matter Mod T printer while I still have it in the shop. And this was interesting because I've gotten decent prints out of this thing, but this one was, you're going to see, it's pretty rough. And it's not that tough of a print. Now, you have to slice this in the cloud, and that means I have to be connected to the internet in order to use this but this time-lapse shows that bed just moves around all over the place and I just don't know how much that affects things I thought it was a slicer others have said it's the bed I'm starting to think they're right but I do love this flex plate my god I gotta get one of these from other printers this works fantastic they just pop right off but look at the surface of these things I'll show a close-up later and really a good close-up these are rough so then I decided to print on my Fabricator Mini. And since the other one was sliced in the cloud, I decided to use AstroPrint and show you how to slice in the cloud using AstroPrint. You first got to set up an account, and then you can just upload a design ready to slice. I've done that before, and here's some of the files that I've uploaded in the file system that it has. But you can go right to the Thingiverse app within AstroPrint and find that same design. So I'll just search here on Disposable Rocket hit enter and a bunch of them come up and then here's the one that I used so I click on that and now it really gives me three choices so there's a little bit of description and then I can download it I can add it to my library or I can print it so here's the download link and that would just download the .stl file I can add it to my library which you know I showed or I can click on the printer symbol and go into the slicer now I've set up a Fabricator Mini profile already, but there's other ones already in here that you can select from. I just chose create a custom printer because there was no Fabricator Mini. But look at this is all you do. You give it a name, you set its dimensions, its nozzle diameter, and this isn't the Fabricator Mini. This is where you would start on a new one. And then there's advanced settings where you can set what slicer to use, whether it's Slick 3R or Cura. And then um, what type of g-code you want and then you can even add some g-codes custom g-codes next you tell it what type of material you want to use and you can set up your own material settings just by clicking on add material give it a name tell it what diameter and then what extruder temperature you want to use so you can set up multiple ones I set up one for ABS and one for PLA now you can then choose your print quality and I chose one that I called PLA and then you click on advanced settings to do your own and here's all the advanced settings that most slicers would have I mean you're using slicer or cura so you can set everything in here infill all that stuff and then when you're done click on slice and it'll slice it now if you had an astro print module connected to your printer you could just click print and it'll send it to it but here I just I click slice and when it's done I could just download the g-code and put that on the SD card and if you want to know what the details were you click on the I button and here it is it tells you the model size the print time the layer height number of layers which is kind of cool and filament use how much filament it's going to take all the information is there and this is all in the cloud so I took that G code put it on the SD card and sent it to the fabricator mini and here it is and this is ABS it's a red ABS a spool left over from a da Vinci printer the XYZ printer told me it was out of filament while well, there was a ton left. So I use it on my Fabricator Mini and it prints really nice actually. And there's no splitting or, or warping here because this Fabricator Mini does a great job with ABS. It really does. Now I wanted to show you guys the two side by side on my spinning wheel here. But I must have left the switch on because the C batteries went dead. 
and I didn't have any C batteries and I didn't want to run out to get new ones so I found this battery adapter on Thingiverse by user Kudo. I downloaded that STL file, sliced it at 0.3 layer height, 20% fill. I used some filament of recycled PLA and did it on my Flashforge Dreamer and I did this while I was doing something else so I didn't lose any time and these things came out great and they worked perfectly. The batteries slid in nicely, they fit inside the turntable and I was back in business. Here they are next to each other, the red ABS that was printing on the, printed on the Fabricator Mini and then the pink PLA that came on the Mod T printer and you can just see quite a difference. Now this is just a disposable rocket, does it really matter? No, but if you're really printing something small and fine, you know, I didn't slice this anything different than their standard settings, so this is pretty rough. A while back I had bought some Estes A10-3T rocket engines, and these fins and nose fit perfectly over the top of them, so the design was perfect. So now, I just needed to launch them. I love shooting off rockets. I did this as a kid and it just takes me back to those days. I get a lot of things in the mail over this channel and it's really cool and sometimes I get some fan mail and I just don't get to it quick enough but I wanted to mention over the holidays I got a Christmas card from Paul Cumber and a self-addressed stamped envelope so thanks Paul you'll be getting some Film of Friday stickers. Ryan Pierce sent me a nice note and a self-addressed stamped envelope. So Ryan, you'll be getting some Filament Friday stickers. And Keith1212 sent me one of his stickers and a self-addressed stamped envelope. So Keith, it's coming in the mail. If you want some Filament Friday stickers, just send me a self-addressed stamped envelope and I'll get to it as soon as I can. I do appreciate it. If you like this project, check out some of my other projects. Just click on the videos over here. And if you want to help support the channel a dollar a month, just click on the Patreon logo over here. It's just a dollar a month. An ATM will charge you more than that just to take your money out. All I ask is a dollar a month. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time on Film of Friday.